<laughs> wow, that was so interesting to explore a cave like that. There's so many fun things to see and I was so impressed with those rock formations down there. Let's take that inspiration back to the mat and do a little yoga. First, let's get deep. <laughs> so we'll do some deep breaths together. So let your breath out. And take a deep breath in. And let it out. Another deep breath in. Let it out. Deep breath in. Let it out. How do you feel? <laughs> Let's start to warm up and move our bodies a little bit. So rotate your wrists. Other way. Shake it out. Next, we'll loosen our shoulders. So up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. One more time. Up, back, and down. And switch directions. So up, forward, and down. Up, forward, and down. Up, forward, and down. Whew, shake it out. And gently begin to roll your head to the side, to the front, to the side, to the back. And take your time with this. You don't have to move very fast at all. Just be slow and gentle. Let's go the other way. One more time around. <sighs> Next, let's reach your arms up high toward the stalactites, which were the ones coming from the ceiling. Take a deep breath in and fold forward, reaching down toward the stalagmites the rocks that were coming up from the ground in the cave. It was so fun to learn about the different rock formations. I really like that. Let's reach toward the stalactites again. And back down toward the stalagmites. <laughs> and one more time toward the stalactites. And one more time to the stalagmites. And stand up. <laughs> Check it out. Well, being down in the cave, I was impressed with how quiet it was down there because it's all closed in. So let's take a nice quiet pose and this is called mountain pose. It's really simple. All you do is get your legs about shoulder width apart and you just have your shoulders over your hips and a nice firm foundation with your legs, so really steady. You take your hands and face toward the front with them and close your eyes and take a steady breath in. And let your breath out and relax your shoulders and just stand here, mountain pose. What do you hear? Bring your hands together, take a steady breath in, open your eyes. <laughs> Right. Now, I really liked going through those small spaces in the cave. Let's pretend like we're squeezing through a small space. So come down to your mat. Get your fingers spread nice and wide. Put them on your mat. Put your shoulders over your wrists. And take your feet and put them toward the back of your mat so that you're on your toes. Keep your back nice and straight. You can squeeze your belly in a little bit. And this is called plank. This is like we're squeezing underneath those rock formations, crawling around. <laughs> Take a steady breath in. And as you let your breath out, start to lower down toward your mat. Rest your belly on your mat. Keep your fingers nice and spread right underneath your shoulders. Let your breath out. Inhale, lift your chest up off the mat, pressing down through your hips and look toward the sky. This is called Cobra Pose. Just like the little snake. <laughs> and relax down. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, lift your chest up off your mat. And breathe out. 
<laughs> Let's pretend we're rocks. We're gonna do a child's pose. So bring your big toes together. Your knees can be out wide a little bit. Take your hands, place them in front of you. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, lower down to your mat and you can rest your forehead on your mat. If you can't touch your forehead to your mat, that's okay. You can rest it wherever is comfortable. And breathe in and sit up. Next, we're gonna do a bridge pose, which is kind of like those rock formations where there were bridges over certain stuff. So let's do that. I'm gonna turn to the side just so you can see what I'm doing. Put your feet flat on the ground, knees bent, and go ahead and lay down. Take your palms down on the ground, let your breath out. And as you breathe in, you're gonna lift your hips up toward the sky and press down through your feet and your shoulders. Bridge pose. <laughs> Lower down. Let's try that again. Breathe in, hips up. Hold here. And lower down. <laughs> I really like bridge pose. I find it's really helps me get calm. And I just enjoyed seeing all those different rock shapes and formations. There's so much to see. I was really impressed with the boulders in there too. Those are really, really big rocks and they're kind of round at the top. I thought we could try a pose that's kind of like a boulder, but it's actually called hair pose, like a rabbit. So keep your knees together and sit back towards your ankles. I'll turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Sit back towards your ankles and take your hands and place them on the outside of your feet and then gently lower down, resting your forehead on your mat. And once you're nice and stable here, like a big boulder, just raise your hips a little bit up toward the sky. And lower down. Hair pose. <laughs> All right. Fingers nice and spread underneath your shoulders, hips over your knees, on your hands and knees. So let your breath out. Take a deep breath in and look toward the sky. Let your breath out and arch your back, bring your navel toward your spine. That just means your belly button toward your back. And breathe in, look toward the sky. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. This is called cat and cow. And what you can do is you do this with your breath. You can start to move side to side. And just have fun with it. Breathe in. <laughs> Boy. <clears throat> It was interesting to learn about how rocks are made, how those mineral deposits just add up over time and they get bigger and bigger. So we're gonna do something that's inspired by rock formations growing over time. So come up to standing position and we're gonna fold forward all the way down and we're gonna pretend we're a mineral deposit going and adding more and more and growing as we go. So very, very slowly start to rise up with more minerals, land on top of more minerals, and you get bigger and bigger and bigger. Take your time. Take your arms all the way toward the sky. And now we're a big rock formation. And over time, water can wear the rocks down. So let's start to go back down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Whew. And take your hands to opposite elbows and gently sway side to side. And release your hands down and have a seat. Let's sit crisscross. Down in the cave, 
There are some parts that are pretty dark. It's, it's a little scary. Uh, if you can't see where you're going and you're not sure what's going on, it can be frightening. It's kind of like outside of a cave. When you're not sure what to do, it can be pretty scary. So something that helps me whenever I'm not sure what to do or I can't quite see what's next is I sit and breathe. It helps me calm my body so then I can decide what to do next. You want to do that with me? <laughs> Crisscross seat. Put your back nice and straight. In your hands, you can put them on your knees, you can put them in your lap, you can do whatever you please. So just get comfortable and let's close your eyes and take a steady breath in. Let your breath out. Steady breath in. And let it out. Steady breath in. And let it out. How do you feel? <laughs> Bring your hands together in front of your heart and take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, press your hands together. Let's do that again. Big breath in. Breathe out, press your hands together. Open your eyes. Let your breath out. Inhale your arms toward the sky. Just like those twisty rock formations as you breathe out, bring one arm behind you and the other arm to that knee and twist toward the side. Let your breath out. Inhale, arms toward the sky. Twist to the other side. Let your breath out. Inhale, arms toward the sky. Hands together. Next, we're going to do Shavasana, which is usually the last pose in a yoga class. And it's one of my favorites because it's so, so simple. All you do is just lay down. So I'm going to turn to the side just so you can see what I'm doing. Whenever you do this, just let your legs come out all the way out and just lay down in your hands. Have your palms face the sky, right at your sides, and let your breath out. Take a deep breath in, and let it out. This is Shavasana. We're gonna stay here for just a few moments, but there is nothing else you need to do. Just lay down and breathe. Start to wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers. Open your eyes and roll to one side. And plant your hand on the ground and use your arm to push yourself up to that crisscross seat. <sighs> Thank you for being here. I want you to know you are wonderful as you are right now. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>